Let's return to our top story this morning now. And if you're a woman, freezing your eggs may seem like a good way to delay having children until a more suitable time in your life. But now specialists are urging women to freeze their eggs in their early 20s to increase their chances of having a child. However, concerns have been raised about just how much information is being made available to women before they pay for this procedure. Let's get more on this now. Professor Nick Macklon is here. He is medical director at the London Women's Clinic. Good morning, Good morning. to you. Um, how much of an increase has there been in the demand for egg freezing? It really has been huge. You know, if we look at... Uh, last six or seven years. Mm. It was quite rare for patients to come into a fertility clinic asking to freeze their eggs for these reasons. Um, but since 2012, we've seen a very steady rise. And I would say that most of the egg freezing that we do now mm. is for this reason. Um, so it has been a great uh, transformation. And it's partly because there's increased awareness of it. Uh, I think perhaps the pressures on women to do it are perhaps increasing. But I think it's also important to recognise that the technology has improved. Mm. And 10 years ago, it was something that was a theoretical idea and maybe gave some comfort. But the chance of it producing a baby in the long term was very low. That has changed now. And the results of uh, fertility treatment using frozen and thaw eggs now is really just as good as using fresh eggs. So I think it is a genuine option. I think it's correct that people don't see it as a guarantee. Uh, many women, I think, will look at the possibility of freezing eggs as a sort of plan B. Mm -hmm. Should they find themselves at a stage of life where they're not in the situation to have the family they had always imagined they would, it might provide them with an increased chance of achieving that at a later stage. So what are the chances? Because there is a lot of talk now about women rushing to do this, those who are lucky to be able to afford to do yes. it, but not being given enough information about the chances of actually having a baby? Well, I think part of the challenge here has been, until recently, it's been quite an experimental treatment. So although lots of eggs have been frozen, not so many have been used to, to make babies. But we're beginning to see that data coming through now. And there was a big study published in America uh, at the beginning of this year, which was able to show that in, in order to get a baby from freezing eggs, age is an important factor. And this mm. is why doctors will often encourage women to do it earlier so that uh, if you maybe freeze eggs at the, under the age of 35 and you can get, say, 15 or 16 eggs into the freezer, which might be achievable on one cycle or possibly two, the chance of having a baby from that is actually well above 50%. But as women get older, it does decrease quite markedly. Um, so it is a challenge. Um, and I think women need to go into this with a full understanding of what the chances are of it actually helping them and not rely on it completely. I've heard that the chances of, of having a baby through freezing your eggs is pretty much the same as going through IVF. And in that instance, the two procedures are quite similar and a lot of women don't quite realise that when they sign up to it, if they haven't done their research properly. Yes. So freezing eggs, in a way, is like going halfway through an IVF cycle. Mm. So one has to inject hormones for a couple of weeks to stimulate the ovaries to produce more eggs than we would normally produce in one cycle. Uh, we would then harvest those, but rather than fertilising them with sperm, we freeze them. And they are there until the woman wants to use them, as long as it's within 10 years, because that's the current law in the United Kingdom. And as I said earlier, what, what really has transformed has been the effectiveness of our freezing and thawing techniques, uh, which have made it as effective as IVF. And if one is thinking of going for IVF, we know that the younger one does it, the higher the chance of it working. So if you freeze eggs earlier, then IVF is more likely to work. Sadly, because of the cost, it's not a choice that's going to be available to everyone because no. it costs between three and five thousand pounds. That's right. For, for just for, for one go at it. Mm. Um, should it be made available on the NHS? Because lifestyles are changing, and women, through circumstances, not I want to put my career first for various other reasons, uh, may want to do this in their early twenties. Is that something that you think should be made available in the future? I think you hit on an important point, and it's, in some ways it's a little bit about equality of reproductive opportunity mm. between the sexes. I mean, men don't face this problem. Uh, women are faced with a biological clock. I suppose the issue we have in the UK is that fertility services as a whole are still very poorly funded. Mm. And I think most people in my field would see as a stronger priority in terms of funding would be to fund IVF in accordance to the NICE guidelines, which at the moment it's not. Um, once we reach that stage where we 
we prioritise and recognise how important fertility is to society as well as individuals, then I think that debate becomes uh, more prescient. OK, Professor Nick Macron, really interesting to talk to you this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, a lot of you getting in touch with your stories about egg freezing. Keep them coming in. Uh, really interested uh, to read some of them. News at sky.com at Sky Sarah Jane.